Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This loading screen confirms Path to Glory is coming on Friday. A very early loading screen is telling us what promo we're getting to start off all of the World Cup content in Foot 23. And I want to take you through what a Path to Glory promo looks like. It is arguably the most favorite promo of basically any time there's a big tournament, whether Euros or the World Cup of years past, Path to Glory has been one of the main promos inside of it. And that's why I want to take a look and break down what we could see this Friday with that promo, but also take a look at the current state of the market because things are going crazy again after EA dropped a hero pack yesterday, a bit unexpected, definitely a surprise, and it's making prices fall back down to where they were on the weekend when prices were pretty low and all the panic selling. So I'm going to take a look at that and some maybe some big rumors for today's content on Wednesday. Could EA drop another big SBC to try to drain coins from the market? We'll talk a little bit about that. Make sure you stick around. It's a big video today. There is a lot going on and we're going to break it all down. So let's start by talking about this loading screen and looking at it once again. It goes so fast. I just logged in and it goes like, boom, it's away. It's there and then it's gone. But we have the car design that is in the middle. It looks very similar to those limited cards, but it's different, right? It's got some blocks in there. That is the path to glory car design. The first thing I note is the time on the bottom. Bottom. When this was released yesterday at content time, it actually equates out to being at 5 p.m. UK. So I don't know if EA messed up the time or if it's actually going to be dropping an hour early on Friday, but that is what the loading screen says. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. But let's talk about Path to Glory, because if you don't know what this is, this is one of the most favorite promos anytime there's a big tournament going on in real life, like the Euros or the World Cup. This is Path to Glory from FIFA 18. These are live cards, and that's why it's really hype, because it's like Road to the Knockouts for Champions League, but these cards upgrade as a nation progresses in the World Cup. And these are the cards that we had for the last World Cup in FIFA 18. We had a lot of them. They ended up getting some really crazy boosts. They they had some that dropped during the fall. And then during the spring, of course, now with the World Cup being a couple weeks, I would imagine that we are just going to have cards dropped right now that would be kind of with us through the rest of the World Cup. Now, you might remember Path to Glory from FIFA 21 with the Euros. The upgrades in years past have all been based around wins, especially the way they did it in FIFA 21. I think this is going to be how it's done in FIFA 23 this year with a boost being applied at the beginning, but then a certain number of wins will equate to a certain number of upgrades with the most upgrades being probably like a plus four or a plus five, right? I would imagine that it's kind of like a road to the knockout or a one to watch card. I mean, obviously we don't expect EA to be putting out like 88 rated cards or 90 rated cards in this promo for Path to Glory and then having them get up upgraded to like 95s, you know, before we even get to team of the year, having a couple cards that are 95 rated, that's probably not going to be the case. But I also don't know how EA are going to do the upgrade. So that's what we're going to have to be very careful and see how EA go and do this. But we know that it will be win based upgrades just because that's kind of how it always is. Now, in FIFA 21, since it was the summer and towards the end of the year, they had the five star, five star skill with weak foot upgrades. Don't know if that's going to be a thing with this World Cup path to glory, but for sure, wins and upgrades based on the number of wins that a team gets through the group stages, into the knockouts, and into the latter parts of the tournament, the more upgrades a player will get. That's kind of the gist of this promo, and right, it's all based around the nations too. So when you think about this upcoming promo, you just think about all the potential possibilities of the 32 nations and the players that we could get um, as a part of this promo. I would even maybe say that if it's it's probably going to be a one-week promo. I doubt it's going to be a two-week promo. So, of course, you'd have to think that there should be maybe not every single nation is covered, especially like Qatar does not have any players in Ultimate Team or any players in FIFA for that matter. Um, but, you know, I would hope to at least have like 24 different nations accounted for. I mean, it would kind of suck since right now they're releasing a lot of the dynamic duos and they've told us they're going to release a World Cup star card for every single nation that's in the World Cup. I like that all of the nations are going to be getting some love and I hope that happens with Path to Glory, but that's going to be a big question because that could be a lot of cards released on this game if they do one for every single nation. So we're going to have to see how they do that. I'm sure we're going to learn more with updated loading screens coming most likely every day this week. 
and we got to watch that timer the countdown timer because like i said again it does right now take us until 5 p.m uk on friday which is an hour earlier than normal which is a bit weird now that's path to glory we're going to talk more about it from whatever we learn later on throughout this week but again that's the design that's the card design that's what we're going to have as our promo packs and promo cards and packs on Friday. Let's talk about timing once again though because EA Sports tweeted yesterday and this relates to Friday and even to tomorrow on Thursday what is happening with the end of the season because EA Sports tweeted yesterday and said that the foot season one including objectives foot moments and the moment star gallery have been extended to Friday which this matters and this this is a pretty big change because I don't know how this is going to impact rivals and stuff like that entirely but for what it shows right now all of this stuff, like the whole season, is going to be ending on Friday. Basically, what it sounds like EA is trying to do is make Friday an absolutely massive, massive day. Like a huge, huge day with the season starting on that day, with all new objectives going to be restarted, all, all new season rewards, like the season level 15, level 30, which aren't that hype, but they still get refreshed. New foot moments rewards, new foot moments stars to go and grind. Like, it just sounds like it's going to be an absolutely nutty Friday with everything that is going to be going on. Uh, and I guess that's why EA have extended this to be at 6 p.m. on Friday. You know what this is making me feel like, guys, to be completely honest? This feels like the EA is moving all of these things to Friday I cannot see a Friday going down with all of this content, all the different things going on with the game. There's going to be some mistakes and there's going to be some mess ups. And again, I just feel like we have to expect it at this point with everything that's going down on Friday. I'm almost guaranteeing you that it's not going to be clear cut, smooth and no mistakes. So as you can see, the time on this has changed. Two days, 14 hours it shows in here. Now, again, the question mark that I have is as a lot of us are trying to grind out Rivals games, get better rewards, move up in our divisions, or complete milestone rewards. It still says in here that the milestone rewards end in one day, four hours, and the rewards for division rivals are at the same time as always. So it looks like this is going to stay the same and reset on Thursday, but the season objectives and all of that stuff is going to reset on Friday. I don't know. So I guess we stay with the same thought process of getting your rivals games done at the same time as usual, getting those games played, uh, and getting your champs qualifiers in before then as well because that just seems like a whole jumbled mess to me right now, and I don't want to mess with it. But that's the biggest news in terms of upcoming content. They extended the season, and Path to Glory is coming. Watch out for Path to Glory leaks as well. I know we have a team of the week and a lot of stuff to look, look for for leaks today, but I also expect Path to Glory leaks to start getting put out and a lot of information around that, and that's going to be moving the market and getting people excited about this promo as well. Now, speaking of what's getting people excited on this game right now, EA dropped a banger of an SBC yesterday, and they finally dropped the Foot Heroes upgrade pack. And we knew, I mean, we really thought this was going to be coming. We were surprised that it wasn't on Monday, and instead EA said, here you go, it's going to be on Tuesday. Base Foot Hero upgrade. We expected some sort of coin drain SBC, right? A very popular gamble pack that EA would put out that we would be able to drain coins and have fun and do a gamble pack, right? A lot of people lose coins when SBCs like this come out. And this one is no exception because you guys know what has happened with SBC fodder. It has gone up, up, and up. Now, some cards are down just a little bit, but 86s are up big because you needed like, what is it, 586s or something like that to complete the two squads inside of the base foot hero upgrade. All these cards are 17K. Fodder went up big yesterday if you invested big w you are making a lot of coins it's staying up especially for 86s my best advice to you would be lazy list those cards i would say i mean some people are getting sales on their 86 rated cards at like 18,000 coins if we don't have tradable supply today uh which is a bit of a gamble because you never know what he is going to do with supply on any given day uh these cards could even go up a little bit more as people do the base foot hero upgrade and get it done even into today it is a decently cheap sbc it's 111,000 coins to do 115k now as the fodder continues to slightly go up it's not bad value though 78 percent upvote i'm waiting to do it until i open some of my packs this weekend just going to wait on my, uh, just to replenish my club with fodder in that way before uh, doing this SBC. So there's that. That's a W. Now, the real question is, uh, or not the real question is, the real thing that we noticed yesterday with SBC fodder going up and this SBC being super duper hype and a lot of people doing it is the market is down bad once again. But 
that was kind of what we were looking for, right? You remember what we talked about in yesterday's video. I was saying like, hey, the market rise that we had yesterday on Monday into Tuesday, you know, yes, the market kicked back a decent amount, but we're going to be looking for prices later on in the week for, for some potential buy opportunities. And yesterday is the first beginning of those prices potential buy opportunities look starting to look really, really good. Gold Erling Holland from 85K all the way down to 66,000 coins where he is now. Basically, a lot of your cards went down to the point that they were on the weekend of the panic selling, like prices that we saw on Saturday and that we saw on Sunday, or they went even lower. Kevin De Bruyne, 82K, he went from 100,000 coins down to 80K on Saturday, went back up to 90K where he was before the craziness yesterday. What this does is a lot, a lot of us, honestly, who are starting to look at the market and be like, okay, I'm ready for some drops again to get in and maybe start to kind of plan what team I want to build, what kind of cards that I want to have, because I still am very confident in the fact that a good portion of the market is going to rebound up from wherever we get to the, on Thursday and on Friday. I think the market's going to end up rebounding up Friday night and into the weekend on some cards, and I think there's going to be a lot of coins to be made. So having prices drop down is just making those profits even sweeter later on this week, especially with a lot of your heroes going down, a lot of your out-of-packs promo cards have gone down, and here's the, here's the kicker, right? A lot of these cards went down, and they're really not rebounding back that much. Take a look at Diego Forlan, 218,000 coins. Yesterday, he was 230, 240. Started to go down and just kind of stayed stagnant and is still kind of low. There was not many cards on the market yesterday that rebounded back that much. Only a few of your really rare heroes like Yaya Toure went up, Marquisio went up, Okocha did a little bit. A lot of your heroes stayed down and a lot of your other out-of-pack special cards and even the gold cards that we just looked at, right? Salah's 150k. He's going out of packs today. He's in Team of the Week. He's still down, right? A lot of cards are down and they have stayed down, right? Perisic is still 100,000 coins. Cancelo is still 479. Uh, Her Teo Hernandez is like 240. The market is not bouncing back that much because there's still, and with that loading screen that we saw and with the path to glory being confirmed, I think the reason why we didn't see the market bounce back that much yesterday is because people are looking at all of this content that's upcoming and they're still unsure, they're still uncertain, and they're still a little bit scared. And that's why flipping yesterday was doable, but it was a little bit tough. You had to look in some specific areas. I know a lot of people made coins on fodder. That was a big W. I bought this uh, Thierry Henry at 720K. I bought these Volaires at 420. I was thinking that Volaire was gonna go back up to like 460. Hopefully, he really didn't. He went to like 450 and kind of stopped. But I saw that happening before he actually, um, you know, got up to that high and I sold these Volaires so that I could go buy the Thierry Henry. And I also went out and bought three Phil Foden's at 230, 235, sold them for 257. So a good flip there. I do have some other cards now at the moment. I'm trading with a couple icons. I bought a couple other of these out of position cards to flip. And I bought a couple Raphael Leao informs. We'll talk about that leak here in a second. Just trying to get catch a couple thousand coins of profit off of those. But that's kind of the name of the game on the market right now is just the small quick flips and not a lot of stuff is rebounding that well because, again, it's really just down to the demand. There's not a lot of demand at the moment. There's not a lot of people buying cards for teams because they see the loading screen. They see the SBCs that we are getting and everybody is just waiting at this point for what's coming on Friday. So just be very careful trading on the market right now. Watch the prices fluctuate. Watch them move downward. You know, some cards do have hours of panic selling and they have fluctuations upward. So if you're going to try to trade in and out of some of those, just be careful because again, uh, what we've learned for the past couple of weeks is that the demand is the key factor for a lot of these cards, right? Is is this layout going to bounce back today? I really don't know uh, because he's down at so much. He was 140K. Now he's 99,000 coins. But he has leaked, been leaked to win Serie A Player of the Month. So we have that sort of thing on the market. Then you have a lot of people just being scared and the whole market being down in general because of the promo upcoming, because of maybe more SBCs, uh, you know, dropping today on Wednesday and all of that stuff. So just again, continue to watch the market on cards that you maybe want for your team or that you want to invest in because I think there's a low period on some of these more rare cards in the next couple of days that we're going to be able to capitalize on and see a big time market rise on Friday night, depending on the content, of course. But I think we're headed for a market rise in a lot of areas on the most meta cards Friday night just because of how many coins are going to hit the market 
and how many people are waiting to buy and waiting for a crazy crash this Friday. But in reality, it feels like Black Friday and we know what happens after Black Friday, a market boom. So we'll talk about that and continue to cover that every single day this week as things move. But this is why we were saying be ready to buy because that demand switch flips and prices are gonna definitely go up. Now let's talk today on Wednesday. We've already talked about a lot, but there's even more to cover, right? There's a lot going on. As we talked about, there are some rumors for today. And if we wind the clock back all the way last year to FIFA 22, in this very time of the year, EA Sports dropped a base foot hero upgrade, then they dropped a base icon upgrade back to back days, and then they did it again. Four days in a row last year. I had to go back and check because I almost forgot. It was true. Remember last year where we had like the 50K preview pack as well? This is literally the one year anniversary of that time. The first kind of week, the second week, I guess you could say, but like during the first 10 days of November, this is when EA went all out last year and did that. Now there are some rumors that EA could maybe drop another icon upgrade pack and do it today, back to back days, hero yesterday, today icon. Do I think that's possible? It's EA, anything is possible. If they did it last year, they could do it this year. Am I 100% set on that happening? No, I'm definitely not. But that's what I just wanna say, that's the rumors that are going around. I would be very careful watching Twitter today around the content drop, seeing if there's leaks about that stuff, because if there is, yes, icons have hype and an icon SBC would be hype, not as much as a hero SBC in my opinion, but I think that some of your higher tier fodder, you might be able to even quick flip some of that stuff. Maybe some of your like 91 Lewandowski's that are, this Lewandowski was 51K, I sold him on, was it Sunday or Monday at 51K? Now he's 45, you know, 88s were down at 22K, they're now back up at about 23, 89s were at, 30k and under they're now back up a little bit as fodder is continuing to just chip up in price a little bit watch fodder today if we get an icon sbc there might be a quick spike but also if fodder goes up a lot before content today there might be a lot of investors and with an icon sbc that might not be as hype as the hero sbc was yesterday there might be prices dropping if that SBC is overpriced because I think if they drop an icon pack, again, we the SBC we had yesterday was the hero pack with no max rating, right? There was no max 87. I think an icon SBC would be no max as well and it would probably be more expensive because now you'd be able to pack the guys of like Cruyff and... Um, Cantona and Eusebio and R9 and all those players that were not packable from the max 86 icon if they release the regular base icon with no max rating I think it'd be a pretty expensive gamble and that might turn some people away from it so cup fodder for that SBC would be a bit iffy especially the day after they drop this which in my opinion is more hype than a base icon upgrade just based off of how hype heroes are this year. And this is like a good last chance opportunity for EA to like drop some hype around the base heroes before they drop the Marvel World Cup versions this weekend on Friday in everybody's packs and some of them into the game. Now, what else is happening today on Wednesday? Well, two, new team of the week, right? And we have a leak at the moment for a team of the week card. His name is Mohamed Salah. This is the only leak that we have right now, but... That's a pretty big card, pretty big name. And I know that he just had the out of positions player card that is also 92 rated. We'll have to see what the rating is on a Salah inform today, but I would imagine that 92 would be pretty accurate because they usually they go off of his last performance based inform and then give him an upgrade on that. So we will have to see what this Salah looks like today. Probably right wing, not position changed, but he is in the team of the week that is confirmed and leaked five foot sheriff so we'll see what other cards ea put in team of the week this week if we see an insane team of the week that might mean again just even more insane content ea like the juice the team of the week to try to sell some extra packs on some big promo weekends so just watch out for that and then like i mentioned with rafael leao i don't know when this sbc would drop i can't lie um i really don't know it, it might be today it might be tomorrow it might not be for a couple days uh, Rafael Leao, and there's a lot of hype with this, right? Like I talked about, his inform is down horrendous. He's 140,000 coins, and now it is... Okay, that's a, that's a snipe. He's not actually 87. He's like 99K, but here's the issue. This Rafael Leao is on the verge of no longer being able to be lengthy, and that would hurt his value, I think, a bit. If he gets plus two agility, 
I believe the cutoff is the 85 agility because with an architect, he can go to max out strength. I, you would assume that his card would get plus one strength on whatever physicality stat boost they would give him, and he would be able to be maxed out at 99. So that means he cannot go over 85 agility, or this card will no longer be able to be lengthy as a accelerate type in the game. And I think that would kill a bit of the hype for this. So even though his Rafael Leal, this might be a plus one from 88 to 89 dribbling, what we really have to watch out for is that lengthy statistic, is that agility statistic, because for a lot of people, that would determine how much hype this card has whenever it gets dropped. I'm saying somewhere around like 150 to 200 K, maybe towards 150 would be a decent value for this. I mean, Syria stuff is usually a little bit cheaper, this is a pretty big name, though, with some pretty big links. So we'll just have to see what EA do. And when when this is, I really have no idea. I don't remember when Serie A's Player of the Months have been dropped. I feel like it's more of a midweek thing. Um, but maybe it's today. Maybe it's tomorrow. We will just have to see. And then today on Wednesday, we're getting more OTW upgrades. My guys that have been waiting for the Darwin Nunez ones to watch upgrade. Today's finally your day. You're getting the plus two. Nunez is going to go to an 84 today. Get his upgrade. Um, you know, I feel like this guy is on the same level of hype or maybe just a bit less than Renato Sanchez. Uh, also very hyped like um, Anthony and Gabriel Jesus. There's a lot of people that have invested in this card. If you want the safe route, sell into the hype. Maybe belt, maybe buy like um, afterwards. If today is an L content day, I think you could see Darwin Nunez dropping after he gets his upgrade for a little bit, then potentially rising as people want to go out and try the card with an upgrade. He's going to go over 90 pace. He's going to have maybe 80 dribbling. It's going to be a pretty sizable boost uh, as a plus two usually is. So there's going to be some hype there with this card today. But again, since it's low rated, I'd be pretty careful. I think there's a bit of a drop opportunity and then maybe a rise later after the listing kind of ends after he gets his upgrade because a lot of people will see the upgrade happen start to list but then if there's a lot of demand because his card looks sick he might rebound back up a bit so just kind of keep an eye on that also schlotterbeck is getting upgraded today and some people say this guy's card is actually kind of cracked uh yesterday in the panic he was kind of moving around a lot he's 22,000 coins he's getting a plus two as well going to an 84 and uh some people say he's pretty good so we'll have to see where that goes with his price but selling in the hype is always a safe route especially if you got the cards for way cheaper earlier on like if you stock the slaughter back in your club at this card great opportunity here to sell for like 23 24,000 coins and take your easy profits again what i'm being very careful with right now you can see that i don't have a lot of coins so i'm actually trying to make coins i'm trying to recoup some of the losses still right i'm being a bit risky and i'm okay to incur a couple break even or maybe some slight losses here or there just because i'm trying to make some coins and make up for what we have lost but yesterday was a decent day selling some fodder quick flippy some cards um and even trying out this terry Henry as a part of the quick flip opportunity with him but today could be another very crazy day on the market again Continue to monitor those cards that you maybe want for your team. If today is an L content day, uh, I know we it looks like we still have some season rewards coming tomorrow on Thursday. But um, you know, again, I, I think there's there's potential on the market if you see, especially for some of these out of packs cards, if you see hours of continued panic selling and prices dropping even further today. I think there's going to be opportunities to buy. I really do. I like the heroes. Again, as I said, yeah, it's a bit risky because you don't know which ones are going to be impacts, which ones are going to be out. I like the out of positions cards. I like some of the rule breakers. And again, I know it seems crazy to maybe think about buying before Friday, but continue to monitor these cards because I really think that when there's no demand and everybody else is selling, that's when you might want to look to buy for a lot of cards on the market. Other ones we gotta be careful with, but hopefully we get some more information about the loading screen and Path to Glory as well, and maybe what other content and leaks could be headed our way today on Wednesday, heading into later on this week. So there's gonna be a lot to talk about. We're gonna be talking about it on stream. That link below is down in the description. We'll be streaming live today and covering it all as it drops during content today and whatever else information we get. But it's been a long video. I'll get out of your face. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.